So I just watched this video that just came out with O'Shea Du Jackson talking about Drake and how Drake linked up with this IG model. And when he linked up with the IG model, he hit it, of course. But then the nigga put some hot sauce in the fucking, he put some hot sauce in the used condom. And then I guess he went to the bathroom or something like that. That she started yelling because her, her, her coochie started heating up. That nigga put some fire out on the pie out. You know, this is what I would consider amoral toxicity, right? What's amoral toxicity? Remember, something I always say is this. There's moral toxicity, amoral toxicity, and moral toxicity, right? So moral toxicity is just works on the spectrum of not being deterred by an initial social mask that someone puts up. You're not going beyond that to the point where you're harassing somebody. You're not going beyond that to the point where you're forcing yourself on somebody. You're not going beyond that to the point where you are manipulating somebody. You're just not being deterred by it. And you stick to your guns. And then it's like, okay, yeah, I want to do what you want to do. Yeah, that, that is really what I wanted. That's moral toxicity, right? So just being sexually bold can be moral toxicity because you're you still are disrespecting someone's social mask and you don't know what their social mask is yet when you first meet someone so there's that level but amoral toxicity is a funny one see amoral toxicity is when someone where, where you set a trap right amoral toxicity is where you set a trap to where if somebody's intentions are not good right and then they try to take advantage of you they will hurt themselves in the process right i'm a scorpio so that's kind of some scorpio shit that's why i resonate with that shit so much from drake because as a scorpio i do shit like that i'm not gonna lie not necessarily on the level of putting hot sauce in a condom that's a new one i ain't never thought of that but i will set something up to where you know if a woman does what she's supposed to do what she says she gonna do whatever we agreed to like we have our set agreement and if she tries to do go beyond that then there's already something set up to where that shit's gonna go left for her. and uh sometimes that's good you know, it's sometimes it's good to do things that way, especially if, you know, you're going places, you have, you're in a position of power, you're in a position of prestige. It's going to be very difficult for, for some women to fight the urge to try to get more out of it than what they agreed to. Right. Just like men can be uh, duplicitous about how they go about things. A man can uh, a man can do the same thing. Right. Just like a man can be duplicitous, duplicitous about how he goes about things. A woman can as well. So in the same way that toxic masculinity may work like, oh, you're trying to get a woman drunk, right? A woman, you know, you might try to get a woman drunk to have sex with her. Well, another woman may say, okay, cool. Well, I'm going to get drunk and have sex with you. But if you're going to slut shame me, I'm going to use the fact that I can't consent under the influence so that I can say that you rape me, right? That's what some women do. And this is like an example of that from a male perspective. He said, okay, cool. You want my seed. I know you want my seed, but you can't have it. You know that. That's the reason I wore a condom in the first place. You know, Drake has come up with a way of punishing a woman for trying to pretty much commit. That's damn near worse than rape. Because now that nigga going to be on the line, you know, if, if she got pregnant off of that shit. So, you know, Drake, shout out to that one. I know a lot of the times people may say Drake is corny, but every once in a while, Drake has his his, his moments. You know, and he has his toxic nigga moments at Scorpion time. And another thing to understand is that, you know, just because a guy may make soft songs, that don't mean that's what kind of guy he is. You got to understand that somebody's social mask, somebody's social image is different from who they are. There are a lot of guys who may make music that sounds like they're simping to women. It sounds like they're pandering to women. But there's a difference between a panderer from a position of power, what I call a super simp, right? There's a difference between somebody who panders from a position of power versus somebody who panders to get something that they don't have and oftentimes when you pander from a position of power you're pandering to get money you're not pandering to get sex you're already getting sex so this is just my take on drake and the whole hot sauce fiasco it's brody i'm out